as soon as you can get over to more of a referral-based business, that should be everybody's goal. What advice would you have, Robert, for agents right now who are about a year in the business who might be struggling a little bit? They're wondering where they should be spending their time. Do they need to be worried about building up referral business or do they need to be out there hitting the streets, knocking on doors? What, what can you tell them? They need to be on the streets, hitting doors, hitting phones, creating relationships, getting into networks and putting in the work. See, this is the deal. There's, in my life, I'm about profit. I'm about what am I going to do that's going to yield the highest result? Okay. And my time in ministry, my time with my family and the time in business. What I saw, because I'm a, I'm a student of what works and what doesn't work. I think marketing is a great thing, but I think we can all agree that we remember the guy on the billboard 10 years ago that's not there anymore. We remember the person on the bus bench. Remember that girl that was on the shopping cart every time we went in for six months or two years and they're not there anymore. So for me, it just told me maybe I'm stupid, maybe it's not right, but for me it was that doesn't work long term. What does work long term is profitability. My profitability, my bookkeeper has told me for the last 10 years, I'm the most profitable client he has. And he does mostly real estate and a bunch of other industries and profitability will sustain a new agent. So a new agent does not need to be throwing their money at gimmicks. They don't need to be throwing their money at some marketing campaign for 10 grand, one shot, hope it works. They need to pull their sleeves up, smile, dial and make a pile and have hope in their heart that that's going to happen. They need to be a, a student of scripts. They need to learn what they're going to say, because this is the deal. If you're always worried about what you're going to say, then you'll never hear what someone's saying to you. And my dad taught me a long time ago, the definition of a great salesman is we're not forcing anybody to do anything. We're helping get, so, get helping someone get from where they are to where they want to go, navigating through the obstacles of getting there. And a lot of it is their own belief system. So if they feel like all you're worried about is a commission check, that's not going to help them tell you what you need to do to help them. So I learned early on, Mike Ferry was really integral in my business, teaching me to internalize my scripts. So as a new agent, what I would do is literally I would dedicate one hour a day to role play. And I'd dedicate one hour a day in the middle of the day to reading my scripts. And what does that mean? You're going to pick some people like yourself. For me, I only hung out with people that were doing a lot more than me, meaning if they weren't making a half a million, a million, $2 million a year, I wouldn't even ask them to role play with me. Now, a lot of new agents might be afraid of that, but this is the deal. Fear is going to be your best friend. When you feel that fearful thing, that's what you need to do. When you feel like, should I ask that guy to be my role play partner? Should I go knock on that $4 million door? Should I pick up that phone? Should I ask that lawyer, that probate attorney, you know, could I be his preferred agent? Do it. Because on the other side of fears where your success is going to be the difference of me at a new agent and you at a new agent, if you're going to succeed or not, was just the fact that I was hungry. Like Les Brown said, I was hungry and I had no choice. I literally burnt the bridge. So that'd be my next suggestion to the, to the new agent. Things are not as easy as they were. We can all agree six months, a year ago, you need to burn the bridge. My wife brought me picture this. We moved to San Diego in 2007 in April when the real estate market was crashing three kids. My wife was pregnant with the fourth. I don't blame her for this, but it was a pivotal moment. She brought me a monster.com ad. If anybody remembers those back in June or July of 07. And I looked at her and I'm like, listen, don't ever bring one of those to me again. I didn't come to San Diego to go work for corporate America again. I came to start a real estate business and that's what I'm going to do. And I just burnt the bridge and I went through some hard times. You know, I went through bankruptcy. There was a lot of things that I paid for uh, because the market was th this market's easy compared to that market I was in. Um, so I don't want to scare you about the markets, not what it was six months, a year ago. But just know this. If you're willing to put the work in, you're willing to call for set by owners. You're willing to use other people's listings and in your area to call around. You have business all around you. You just have to get focused. You got to get strategic and you got to go execute.